not even sorry. Massive delays on the tube, apparently. So you're aware you're still logged into my Uber account, right? Well, that's why I'm not sorry. So plus the one you already owe me, you're paying for the next two dinners because we just passed happy hour. Uh, sorry, darling, can you turn the music down a bit, please? It, it just makes my nail a bit. Uh, no, we're good. You can ignore him. Please? I mean, people who play jazz, I, I don't know what they expect me to feel. Well, if you just listened. But anyway, long-winded patience today. What's the story? Well, as human beings, we've come a long way through evolution, uh, not to mention technological advancement. I, however, have to deal with one Mr. Hodgetts, who has a fear of da -da -da, vending machines. OK, <laughs> so Walker's crisps refuse to fall off, but people are watching so we couldn't kick it. You see, that's a legitimate concern. <laughs> Seriously though, um, six months ago, Mr. Hodgetts came to me and this was his case. So he had a, an intense phobia of sharks. His wife, however, and two lovely daughters have now okay. bought him a, a diving trip by the beach in Marseille. <laughs> South of France. Yeah, and uh, he wouldn't go. Oh God, okay. Hey, thank you. Thanks. So yeah, they sent him to me. Okay, well, I'm intrigued. So this is what I said. Did you know how many people are killed each year by sharks? Less than 100. And did you know how many injuries and deaths are caused each year by vending machines? More than 3,000. So, matey comes to me this morning, terrified of vending machines. <laughs> <laughs> but he's not scared of sharks anymore. So, uh, Small victories. Okay, well, give the guy a refund. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm the one getting paid for this sort of thing, so, you know, I've got absolutely no reason to complain about it. But, but I guess, in a way, it makes perfect sense. I mean, given the stats, we should be more afraid of vending machines than sharks. Uh, clearly, it's a form of weakness. I mean, if it's not sharks, it's something else. Uh, exploding kettles, uh, naughty sausages, uh, there, there's always something. Yeah, but... Everyone's got some kind of fear, or rather, it's natural to be afraid of something. Some kind of fear. Um, yes, yes and no. It's not the most professional of answer, Doctor. Come on. I had this patient last year who had a, a fear of buzzing sounds, you know, the, the sound of flying insects. <laughs> so I showed him a jar of wasps and told him I'd uh, clipped a small section of the wings so they'd be silent when in flight. Uh, I then released all of them and they flew all over the room in silence and he went batshit. And thereafter, he becomes appreciative of buzzing sounds. So it's a classic case of not afraid of heights but afraid of falling. Ten points for Gryffindor. Uh, yeah, and honestly, sometimes it's better to just go through with it and then it's done. Do you know, as a child, I never wanted to be in the dark because I was afraid there was someone else in the room. And I'm 45 now, and in the dark, I'm afraid there's no one in the room. So, look, I just want to say at this point, on behalf of all humanity, there's nothing wrong with being frightened of something. Well, it's usually never a problem until it actually becomes somebody else's problem. And fear is just your, you know, imagination planning out the worst possible scenario. So what about that thing you're afraid of? Because hmm? I think your fear has always been someone else's problem. What is it you say? Well, it, does, it, does, it, it doesn't have to be. No, no, what is it you say? Fear is your imagination playing out the worst possible scenario. Look, I am the vending machine.
So today the psychiatrist finally realises that nobody actually gives a shit about it. <laughs> yeah, I, I think you'll, 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 you'll find I'm actually a psychologist. Uh, whatever, you now owe me the additional dinner for today's therapy. Um,